I'm going to do a short, well, it's not, I don't even know if I'll be able to fit this in one thing. Uh, I'm going to do an electromagnetic pulse, or some people want to call, like for 2012, the solar maximum, which would be the equivalent of a worldwide electromagnetic magnetic pulse. Now, basically, most of this I'm going to direct toward the solar maximum or a, a big electromagnetic storm hitting the earth because with that we would have a few hours notice I mean you you would really know if it was going to be a big one because all the TV stations uh, all the satellite TV anyway would go off the air because they would turn the satellites off and point them in a direction uh, away from the flare to attempt to have the satellite uh, survive you know probably wouldn't work but they're gonna do everything they can to uh, protect the stuff and what I'm showing you here is what you can do if you have warning if if a terrorist shoots a uh, shoots a uh, bomb 300 miles over the United States and sets it off what I'm most of what I'm telling you here will be worthless all right now let's say we know we have a huge magnetic storm coming right Okay, I've got only got a few hours, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to my cars and trucks and disconnect the batteries. I'm going to take the batteries and put it in one of those steel drums, like that burn barrel out there, and cover it up. And, uh, you know, in other words, it'll have a complete metal case around both my car batteries. I will take the jumper case. I will hook these both these positive and negative together without the battery no no electricity so everything is dead shorted out and of course the truck would be parked over by the uh, aluminum roof shed if not in it you know that's that's an that's an extra layer thing because that whole building there is totally grounded you have to remember the electricity just like lightning is generally going to take the shortest route to ground that's what you count on in your shielding is shortest route to ground. So now I've got both of these terminals uh, hooked together so everything in the truck is no longer a negative and positive. Everything's, everything's shorted together. Okay? Well, it's not shorted because there's no power to it. But everything's connected together. And then I would take the jumper cables from somewhere on the, on the truck body, on the engine block, and the body of the truck and hook it to one of the posts that are driven into the ground. Perhaps one of these old rusty metal fence posts. Uh, hook them to that and make sure the truck, the whole shell, the shell of the truck is grounded straight to ground and there's no power running into nothing. Now this isn't a guarantee, but it will, give, it will definitely increase the odds of your vehicle surviving that kind of electromagnetic pulse. Okay, what I'll do next is, uh, I'm trying to keep this short. Let me hurry up and get into the garage. <sighs> Turn right on here. The next thing I would want to do is come over here to the fuse box. And I'm going to kill the power to the whole house. When I do that, I'll be off the grid. This, this breaker will pop out, and then I will be able to hook two jumper cables, heavy-duty jumper cables, from everything in the house. From both of those phases, will go straight to ground. Uh, let me get my flashlight out here. Okay? I can ground those jumper cables to that. So that makes every wire in the house... Every single wire in the house is grounded. Everything's totally grounded out. Now, any sensitive electronics I have, I would probably put them in something like a freezer or in my washer and dryer, which are totally metal and cut cased. Uh, a metal filing cabinet, gun safes, anything that's a totally steel cabinet, you'd want to put your you know, your computer in it, uh, any sensitive electronics.
So now I'm going to show you a little thing you can do to prepare for the terrorist attack. Of course, everybody's familiar with this radio here. What I'm doing is getting the tripod set up here. Get it there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, that ought to be, I hope that's good enough. Okay, now this is something you can do ahead of time with your emergency electronics. Okay, this is the shortwave radio, and I like the shortwave because I don't want to hear just what our government's saying. I want to hear what other governments around the world are saying. And we do have, I think, it's 50 or 60 radio stations and television stations in the United States that are set up with the emergency broadcasts that are shielded from electromagnetic pulse. So we will have some radio transmissions, usually on the AM band. But uh, So your radio will be much better. Of course, I do have a digital television. This, this, you know, has both, uh, but it's, it's digital, battery operated. I have disconnected the battery in it. Okay. You want to make sure all your batteries are disconnected from these before you do what I'm fixing to do. The next thing you want is typical aluminum foil. Okay. This is all set up to be put in storage before I put it in storage. Doesn't matter whether it's shiny side or whatever. All I'm basically doing is encasing it in a, a conductive material uh, let's see. the heavy-duty wrap works better because it doesn't break as easy all I'm doing is wrapping that up in the box you know the batteries are in the box and everything nothing's hooked up though everything's in there completely enclosed in aluminum foil of course you're going to get your magic marker and write on it what it is because with that you won't be able to say so I'll say uh, uh, Red Cross Emergency shortwave radio. All right. So then I'll tape this up and everything. I mean, if you want to really go to it, you can go ahead and double wrap it. But that will give you basic uh, electrical statical protection to all those fine circuitry inside that radio same thing with the television uh, now like I say this is all this right here this is something you can do to prepare from even a terrorist EMP this is something now your everyday electronics uh, like if one went off right now this little camera would be kapui uh, my computer over there would be basically a big nothingness but for the flares, you can prepare ahead. You, if you'll notice this desk, you see, I, I got to take you off the tripod. Everybody going to get seasick. This is an old 1950s steel desk. You know, there's radio in there. As long as it's enclosed in that desk, I'm fairly safe from any type of electromagnetic pulse. They're not hooked to the grid or anything. Of course, I have surge protectors on all the wires. Uh, unless it's a real, real strong strike, I might get away with it because being that the desk is grounded and all like that, th there's a possibility uh, that I've got surge protectors and, uh, how would you say, uh, it's kind of isolated, wireless, Wi-Fi, that I might, unless it's a real close EMP, I might get away with it. I doubt it. But anyway, I'm out of time. See you later, YouTube.